Hello everybody, I'm Face, and uh, well, we just got the announcement that PvP is coming out this weekend, so I figured I need to hurry up and uh, and uh, release this calc already. Um, it would have been out today, but I actually didn't find the time to sit down and record this little mini, well, not mini tutorial video on how to use the calc, even though I'm sure most of you will understand it just by looking at it. But there, I'm sure there are some people that would appreciate this, so we're gonna do it anyway. Um, this right here is the um, the official page for it, the um, the Google spreadsheet, which will be linked in the description. But uh, in order, you won't be able to do anything in this one because it's it's the one I made so that everybody can use. So if you if if you do want to end up using it, you have to click this file and uh, make a copy, name it whatever you want, or just there uh, and it'll load up a new one do note that when you do make a copy the scripts I put into it will take a little oh this is this is the intro sheet for if somebody doesn't want to watch the video although I think it's pretty ugly I, I'm just bad at you know formatting this stuff to make it look good just, yeah I'll basically be covering everything there so anyway uh, so now, now that you've downloaded, or you're not even really downloading it, uh, but now that you've made your own copy, uh, I, th by the way, you will need a Google account. So if you don't, I'm sorry, but um, anyway, I'm not. I don't have the smarticle particles to make an actual website for this. So um, yeah. Anyway, uh, what was I doing? Oh right, explaining the calculator. Um, so what we got here. You have a list of all the Lumians in the game. This right here is just the name of the set that you know you'll be putting in this colorful little sheet, um, and it'll just pull it up automatically. Anyway, sorry about that. But there's some background noise. Um, anyway, um, basically, this this stuff seems pretty um, self-explanatory. Gender, male, female, none. Level. Um, right here is where you put your positive personality trait or different and then you put your negative so Yeah, that makes that easy um, These are all the abilities that actually have that can have an effect on damage. I Have like some of the hidden abilities for the starters like sharp claws and brute force, but do note you can't get them at the moment so it's just I, we didn't know for sure if we could, so I just put them in anyway, but uh, yeah. So you just select your ability, and if your ability is not listed here, it's probably because it doesn't affect the damage in any way. So yeah, so like Ambit would have Awakening. Actually, you know what, let's just, let's just do like something like Seer Knight. Uh, let's make it Brawny, give it Awakening. Uh, we don't have any items yet. Uh, although we we have the kabunga kabunga booga booga so kabunga kabunga maybe I don't know or kabunga we're not going to spend five minutes discussing that but that doesn't really affect damage so I didn't put it here and then here you just put in your e ups and tps ivs evs from Pokemon and they all default to forty but if you want to put in something specific you can obviously but there's a hard cap. On, on them, so you can only put it at 40, and these again only at 200. So, of course, I could just remove the cap and let the numbers go wild, but eh, I'm lazy. Actually, no, it would have taken more work to put the cap on there. Maybe I'm not lazy. Anyway, um, so for this particular set, why not just 200, 200, 100? Why not? That's obviously might that might not be the set you want to run, but you know just for the example. And then down here you can set your current HP. The damage calcs will have certain highlights based on like one hit KOs, two hit KOs, three hit KOs, um, and they actually run off of current HP rather than max HP. So for example, uh, I could be using my own personal calculator with a bunch of different sets, but I'm. Why, why reveal my hand? Um, 
let's say let's say you have a max defense or a max defense Luminami here with Awakening and let's give this flaming kick uh, it, by the way quick quick little thing with these drop down arrows you can scroll down and select but clicking the drop down arrow and then typing kind of puts the text at the end of it so if you just want to type over it just click on the cell itself rather than the drop down arrow and it'll type right over it so like this and then you put searing steel power focus and then something like rapid fire who knows um and then as you can see here this this is highlighted in green this this is saying um green green means it's it it's at least a guaranteed three hit ko um in the future i'll have little calculations to show the percentage of like maybe a two hit ko since obviously this can, this can do over half but for now, it's just if this number does over half, this will be, or if this number can KO fr from this range in three hits, it'll be a green highlight. But um, then you can add things like Icicle Trap. Uh, that puts it barely, what, what is it? 6.2, uh, 6.25, which means you'd have to hit 3.125. Oh, that's like right outside. If this, like, if this had one health point less, this becomes orange, meaning a guaranteed 2 hit KO after Icicle Trap, so that's fun. Anyway, um, and yeah, I was just showing off the highlighting there, so you could just set your numbers and moves to match your Lumions in-game, it's nothing, it's nothing big. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, there's also a double sting. Let me pull up a move that actually... Storm Summon. Yeah, Seer Knight can't actually learn this, but it's just for reference that if... If it were doubles, it does it does have the modifier like it would be in Pokemon. And I did... It, it, you know, I, I do know that it, they use the same formula as the Pokemon formula, except with Stab it just to be 1.5. Or 1.25, or... So yeah. But yeah, the doubles button is functional. While I don't know all of the moves that may potentially be, you know, multi-target, I did put in my best guess, but obviously I can adjust it as um, as necessary. I'm already well. I'm already at like ten minutes of explaining nothingness. Anyway, um, so this rest there's a rest button. Um. This uh, resting lowers your stats by one stage for the turn, so your defense is what it would be if your defense was at minus one. Now I don't know for sure if you're at minus six and resting, if that like stacks or if it just caps out at the minus six. But for now, I have it set to count as if it were like minus seven. So, but yeah, resting does that. And then we have crits that are fully functional. If that were to crit, well, actually, let's put this at plus one defense for just random reason. Oh no, it doesn't do anything, but the crit bypasses it. Also, the reason you you see this loading is because there's a custom rounding it with within the damage formula where if it's at like 0.5, you know how rounding, if if the number is at 0.5, it'll round up to the next number. Um, the custom rounding in the damage formula makes it so that if it's at 0.5, it'll round down. So I had to put it like that. And and Google, I had to make a custom function in this, for this. So that's why you see this loading every time you change something. Normally it'd be rather immediate, but you know, that's just how life works. Anyway, let's get rid of that. Um, oops, rapid fire. Anyway, um, there are certain moves that have their own little effects, like, oh, here, let's just put it over here. Soft water, I believe, is one. Blood drain. Pestilence. And what? There's one more. Oh, take root. They, they show these, they show these little boxes. They don't affect the damage directly. But, uh, 
let's see, what if I were to put like zero attack? And then I had blood drain. Oh, well, it doesn't, well, heck. Come on, I need something, I need something here. Give me, give me a bone here. Indifferent. There we go, okay, so like this, it takes into account the health you would recover from draining their health, and now the highlight's gone, therefore no longer a three hit KO. So it does take that into account, and same thing with soft water, except soft water's broken, but it will be nerfed eventually, it's just not going to be immediate. So once PvP releases, Luminami will still be recovering 20% a turn. That's fun to note. And then of course I can do this maroon. How much is it doing? And then add in Pestilence. Boom, it's a two hit KO. Or, oh, he, oh, this is a good one. Blood Drain. It takes one twelfth of their health rather than one eighth, like Leech Seed. And then, as you can see, unlike, um, uh, unlike you see these, this bold, um, bold and italicized text, this is completely regular, but it still has the 2 8 KO coloring. This means rather than it like just outright KOing in three or two, two or three hits, by the end of the second turn, so once it hits it and then hits it again, by the at the end of that turn, rather than after it hits it, meaning this will still get a hit off, but at the end of this turn it will faint. So that's because it's taking or this will the Seer Knight will faint because it's taking damage at the end of the turn as well, and that'll put it over the edge. Anyway, that's what that means. Uh, and then obviously there's some moves that hit multiple times. Those all work properly. Uh, what, what, what's this, Pine Shot? Yeah, and then Boulder Blast I believe is the last one, yep. So these all are multi-hit, they hit two to five, or at least these, these three do. Winter's Fury hits one to three. So I believe it'll be buffed eventually to just be a guaranteed two to three, which is a lot better. Uh, but yeah, that works. That's that's functional, as you can see. Anyway, so that's basically it for like the actual calculating portion of it. Obviously, as um like I said earlier, as I as things are updated within the game, I'll update the calculator, and you'll have to make a new copy every time which is inconvenient but i again i don't know the whole website thing anyway let's talk about sets so this th this sets page is just for a way for you to like pick a lumion and not have to readjust the ups you know readjust everything so you just put in a lumion you really do need to put in a set name so that the calculator doesn't freak out like oh it doesn't match everything but you know so let's just say lol and then the UPs, and then the TPs, what did I have? I had 200, 0, 200, 100, 0, 0, 0. It was brawny. Oh, no, no, oh, oh, yep, that, there we go. If you don't put in the right thing, it will just reject it entirely. So I just put, uh, if it's pure brawny or, you know, no negative thing, you, there's this little dash here, you put that there. Awakening, no item. Level 100 or whatever you want it to be. Flaming kick, searing steel, rapid fire, and power focus. And boom, the set is made. And then we come back to here. Let's just change it. You know, it'll reset everything. And then we go to Seer Knight. And now that we have a set in there, Hey look, it loaded the set, and then you have a little drop down here. It loaded the set, and then there's the option to create the Blake set if you want to start with the, you know, start from scratch with the Seer Knight. It doesn't delete the set, but you know, it just works with the blank canvas, as you will. So, like I said earlier, uh, you'll have to, um, you'll have to uh, make a copy every time this updates because. This obviously won't get the updates as I'm changing the official one, not yours. And that could be inconvenient for you. Like, let's say you had a bunch of sets like I do in my like in my main one. 
I have a bunch of sets. I wouldn't want to get rid of them. So how would I go about it? So let's just let's just assume this is the uh, this, this is assume this is the new updated copy, and all of my sets are gone. Oh wait, that's the official one. And then let's just assume all of my sets are gone. And I'm like, oh crap, this sucks. What you just don't delete this yet. And what you got to do is just right click the sets thing. Don't worry about that, but uh, yeah, don't nothing's here. Anyway, um you just right click sets copy to and go to an existing spreadsheet. Oh no, you're going to see all of my spreadsheets. I might have to edit some out. Oh, it doesn't look like I will. Cool. And select the new one you just made, which is this damage calc one. So just select that. It'll say sheet successfully or sheet copied successfully. So we come back here. We have copy of sets. And what we gotta do, just delete the old one. The one that's just called sets. Yes, I want to delete. And then rename to sets because the um the the code looks for a sheet named sets, so you have to name it sets. And then no, uh, change it to oh, oh no 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 let's just go seer night. Anyway, it'll because I changed it mid thing, it's gonna freak out. Oh god, yeah, I really did bust the thing up. It's freaking out. Anyway, um, there we go. It loaded the set, and like with, and then obviously you can have multiple sets for the same thing, like I do here with Umbrat. I have two sets, and I'll load them both, and it'll let you switch between them. And uh, once you update to a, new, to a new calculator, you really don't need the old version. So you can just go to your Google Drive and delete it from there. I'm not going to go into my Google Drive because there may or may not be personal information that I don't feel like editing out, so you, you could figure that out, I'm sure. But yeah, that's basically it. I guess I can show you the uh, intro sheet. Insert future video link here. This is where this video is going. Um, change log. I'll put what's changed so you know. Uh, I'll probably put the version number here. Like I have version 1.01 .01 here in the title, so I'll probably I'll probably put this version number in the intro with the change log just so you know. Just so you can match it up with yours, make sure it's a new one, and then I have my Twitter here. Yeah, make sure I'll be prop I'll be posting on the twi on my Twitter whenever I make an update, so you could follow that or just check on it every now and then because this the Twitter is obviously not dedicated to my um uh, to the damage calculator, so you may not want everything I post to be on your timeline. So just either follow me just so you can make sure you have all the updates or just look on, look back at it every now and then. Although I'll be promoting it in every which way, multiple discords, the, the, the wiki discord for sure, I'll be talking about it. So if you're in that, that's cool. But yeah, I, I, I did the video just so you didn't have to read this, but if you don't want to watch this, you could read this. It goes over the same stuff, so yeah. Like, that's basically it. Uh, yeah, PvP's coming out, and we have stuff to work with. I'm personally not ready, but now that this will be finally released, I don't have to worry about this until after PvP releases, or, well, I probably will, because there will most likely be bugs that everybody finds and be like, Hey, this doesn't work properly, and I'll be like, oh, okay, I'll fix it. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Sorry for taking up, like, 20 minutes just to explain how a calculator works. See ya.